Hello everyone, uh, I'm here to do a tutorial that some people have been trying to get uh, working is the NVIDIA GeForce Experience to optimize the games. This is a tool made by NVIDIA to uh, simplify the life of the gamers. Usually you can do a login if you have a login and you can register easier and this will save all your settings. If even you format your PC and you re-log in, your settings will be automatically loaded, which is very, very nice. NVIDIA also has a drivers, and um, if you put check for updates, it will check for any update for your graphics card by NVIDIA. In case my rig, I have a GeForce uh, 920M, a Core i7, HEB RAM, and the driver version is the newest one, 368.22, and Windows uh, 10 Pro registered. So this is the, um, the overview of all the services you can have. Game optimization is what I am about to talk. You need to check for all your games. If don't, go to preferences and check the folders. Or press here, refresh game list. Otherwise, you have here in my case, I have three games, Counter-Strike, Global Offensive, um, Overwatch, and Rocket League. I can perform all of the games. I just need to press on this uh, tool. Since I don't play in high resolution and I prefer for the tree, I put um, 1024 per 768 and I push all. It usually be on balanced and I put optimal and then apply. Done. You can open your game and everything will be fine. On Overwatch, I just started to play the beta and it's a great game, actually. But I prefer also a low resolution, so I do apply. Obviously, the quality of the game um, will be not so good because it's lower, but you will have high FPS, which helps you a lot on your game performance. Then Rocket League. Rocket League is a great game. Also, cars with soccer. Who imagined that? Well, seems Psynix, yeah. I do in high resolution and performance, so I can have high performance in high resolution. Actually, I am on the current settings of 720p with world detail quality, so I don't like squares in Rocket League, to be honest. It's basically shit. The next step is Shadowplay. Shadowplay I don't have because I don't have a GTX, x -top GPU, uh, 600 series or higher, notebook or else. I don't have, but I have all the rest. But what this does, it allows you to record from 20 minutes to 20 minutes uh, without spending resources of OBS and all other uh, programming to record it. You can use Shadowplay. Shadow play with Simplify and use NVA codec, which uh, doesn't push too much from your system, to be honest. It's a very good tool and usually I use it, but today, since I'm not on my desktop, I'm using Camtasia Studio. It's also good, but not to record gameplay, only screenplay. But you can even stream to your Twitch account. You will need to do the logins, just press Alt F8 and you are ready to go. NVIDIA Shield um, and Game Stream are for NVIDIA Shield consoles. If you have one, you will need to have your console connected over wireless and you can both connect and stream so everybody can see on Twitch what you are playing. I hope you enjoyed the video and one more time, thank you for watching.